hallelujah praise master jesus once more again i welcome you in the name of jesus these two people in your life will die this morning this is the title of this particular prophetic word stay with me as we hear from the beginning to the end in jesus name amen the bible says in the psalmist it's a new day the lord has made for us to rejoice and be glad one thing i tell people life and death lies in the power of the tongue as the bible says there are a lot of people that their life and destiny has been limited because of the words that they offer so life and death lies in the power of the tongue so whenever you wake up in the morning the first thing you do is for you to declare declare this word decree this word upon your life in the name of jesus declare and decree this word upon your life that this is a day the lord has made i must rejoice and i must be glad for in jesus mighty name this is prophetic blessings with pastor bazi i use this opportunity if you see my face for your very first time god bless you i am the man god is using do where to subscribe to become part of this family so whenever i'm live you will be notified god bless you people of god for in jesus mighty name amen and amen this particular prophetic word title to say these two people will die in your life who are these two people the lord says they must go down in the mighty name of jesus it's not a prophetic word that you need to be afraid like no hallelujah the bible says there is a time for everything a time to be born and a time to die there is nobody that will live here on earth forever there must be a time to die but now many people don't want to hear any prophetic word when it comes to death because they consider death as as something bad one day a little child asked to me pastor when somebody is traveling to go to some certain country they use cars there are some countries that cars cannot go you must use plane there are some countries that you cannot go by plane you must use go by water so the child asked me then if somebody wants to go to heaven which type of plane or which type of things are they going to use i was confused i had to answer the little boy there is only one car there's only one flight there's only one visa there is only one one method of which we all can reach to heaven is through death in the mighty name of jesus and it's appointed when your own times comes you will join the father but this particular person the lord is talking about that is about to go down these two people these are people that has meant that that have sat together made a decree upon their life made a decree that in this particular two position you will never see something good you will never smile that nothing good will work out from you so these are the decision this particular two people has made against you but god revealed to redeem whenever god reveals something is to redeem whenever god reveals something is like removing a fish out of water the strange the string of a fish can only be inside the water once the fish is outside the fish is powerless in the name of jesus the bible says in the book of second chronicle we all can remember the story of king jehoshaphat how three nations got up to kill king jehoshaphat kill the people and take the land which which the lord gave abraham the bible says when they made this plan god revealed a messenger came to king jehoshaphat tell king jehoshaphat about everything that was going on so whenever god is revealing a word like this to you it's for you to make up your mind it's for you to prepare it's for you to get set because if god never wanted king jehoshaphat to be set he will have hit the revelation and let the people just attack them and the people will definitely succeed so whenever god reveal is to redeem that is the reason why i tell people prophecy has power like something whatever anything has power when it's still in secret once anything is being exposed from secret it has no power upon your life hallelujah so this particular prophetic word is a confirmation it's a word of deliverance in the life of somebody at the place of prayers i saw these two people in the name of jesus the first thing that i'm that i've seen happening in the life of this particular person the face i'm seeing a woman i saw a woman under the sound of my voice this woman you have waited for marriage for for somebody to get married in your family is a big problem a man can easily come to live with you as friends but when it comes to marriage is something else 
So the first person I saw is this particular lady. Your family has been suffering from marital issue. For a man to marry in your family is very difficult. You have prayed, you have prayed, time is going. You have been asking yourself question, what is actually going on? Your mother hurt you out of wedlock. Your mother gave birth to you, your father left you. That is how everything is going. And at the place of prayers, I saw somebody that made a curse, that cast a spell on your family, that no one will ever get married. I saw the Lord says, Exodus 22, 18, suffer not a wish to live. The time of that witch upon your family has come in the name of Jesus. The time of that witch has come. The Lord said the witch will die. Hallelujah. The Bible says we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. We wrestle against principality and power. So if God is the one to kill, we don't need to be afraid. If God is the one to kill our enemy, no problem. The Bible says arise and let my enemy be scattered. God is rising. Secondly, I saw another person. This family, everybody is well intelligent, well educated, good certificate, but no job. You go to school, but when you're looking for a job, you, you work under people that are not even educated than you. You answer sir to people that are supposed to answer sir to you. Your family has been down. Everybody in the family has been doubting what is actually going on. That is the second person that the Lord is saying. There is a man that casts a spell and ties the destiny of this family that no one will ever rise. That man is going down. At the place of prayer, the Lord said these two people are going down. I don't know how many people are connecting and believing under the sound of my voice. If you're believing this particular prophetic word that this particular thing will happen in the name of Jesus, I want you as you're connecting in the name of Jesus, stand in agreement, stand in agreement with me as we pray together. For in Jesus' mighty name, the Lord says, Suffer not a wish to leave. Are you not tired from suffering? Are you not tired from waiting for husband? Are you not tired? Your father suffered, your grandfather suffered, you are still suffering. Are you not tired? God revealed to redeem. The Lord says the strong man behind all this is going down. I declare and I decree if you believe that anyone holding your life, your destiny, the life of your children, your blessings, let them go down as you believe. Type it at the comment section. They are all going down in the name of Jesus. This is a prophetic comment. Type it at the comment section. They are all going down in the name of Jesus. As you type it, so, so shall it be. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen.